Hi, so today we're going to talk about our new home weather station, but first I want to give a personal shout out and thank you to our friend Matt who gave me this t-shirt. Go Ducks! <laughs> <laughs> so I am a big fan of the weather. In my job, for a long time I had to be up on the weather and then it just became kind of a hobby. So we had a weather station that was actually a gift, a Christmas gift from my parents to me. And it worked awesome for about three, maybe four years, or almost four years, because it was Christmas and now it's in October. Um, so, that's right, girl. She likes it too. <laughs> so it died. Uh, we're blaming it on the Napa fires, but we're not sure that's the reason. And so we ordered a replacement. So we're gonna do a little unboxing of it, a little explanation of it, and actually set it up and giggle about the whole thing. <laughs> All right, let's you like the weather station. I actually really enjoy the weather station and I was really sad when it went away and um, I didn't realize how much I would miss it when we, until we didn't have it, so. It's funny because you can just check the weather on your phone, but there's something cool about knowing what the weather is right outside, especially for the dogs in the morning if we have to put their little jackets on or any of that. Right. And again, you can check it on your phone, <laughs> but it's hilarious because I actually don't carry my phone with me a lot around the house. I'm always right. using it, so. As well as it gives you the temperature inside and outside. It's so amazing. It's, it's yes. worth it. <laughs> so we ordered the Accurite, let me, I'm going to check the number here, it's 01517, it's $119 from Amazon. There are much better and bigger weather stations, this is kind of the, the basic 5-in-1 that gives you wind speed, uh, ambient temperature, inside outside humidity, and it's got a rain gauge. And because we had one that's pretty much exactly the same, all this stuff's already set up on the roof for me to attach it, so it'll be easier to install. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we go. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. That's nice. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is a little display for it. We put it in our kitchen. It's got the little sticker on it, but we got the dark version. Uh, so it's kind of more backlit than blacklit. Uh, it's kind of cool. So that's it. And the little base. I don't remember the other one being separate. Uh, probably was. Anyway, I'll do that in a moment. Yeah. Might need some help with this one. All right. Oh, that's why that white thing's on it to hold it together. Yeah. It's exciting! <laughs> okay. So this is the little part that goes on your roof with little weather vane and wind speed. It's got a little... Uh, bubble for keeping it level and yet obviously it has to point in the right direction so it knows which direction the wind is so like i said since we had one exactly the same as this uh it's already set to go so it won't be hard to set up also a little trick is in here on your little weather cuff if you put uh, automotive wax on it it makes it so the water will actually slide down a little bit easier than the hard plastic and if you actually take this apart there's a, like a little spoon inside here that fills up with water and that's how it tells how much rain is coming. If you put automotive wax on that, it also helps out quite a bit too. So there's that this little thing that goes in here, makes it happy. But like I said, we already have one of these up there. And then of course the screws. So that's it. That's your weather station. Now I'm gonna go climb up on the roof. Let's go see what <laughs> happens. All right, so here's the setup. We keep it here on the kitchen counter. Uh, first, what you have to do is uh, take this little other thing. We already plugged this in because that's not that much fun to watch. AC adapter in here. And then you also have to select, because there's A, B, and C for different channels. Select A on here, select A on the unit, and you're all set to go. And then you put in batteries for backup. A. So it's starting to read already. It shows right there that it's picking up the sensor. Now I have to set the date and time on it, and then we're gonna go up and put the Little whirly gig on the roof. Whirly that, gig. That'll be it. That's what it looks like. Huh? Pretty freaking cool. <laughs> I'm excited about it. It's pretty cool. All right, we'll be back. So we got the base unit set up inside, and now I'm gonna go up on the roof and put up our whirly gig. And uh, like I said, we had one before. It worked out really well for us. So happy to have a new one, and uh, hopefully it won't fall off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Hope so. That's, that's my goal. <laughs> okay. And, and uh, please excuse the backyard mess. We haven't cleaned up in a while, so that's, that's how it goes. 
<laughs> right, here, oh, let me make sure I've got my screws. I don't want to go up on the roof without any screws. And I'm terrified of heights. Neil is supposed to paint that post, but he hasn't. It's only been like three years. And that's it. So let's go look at the little unit inside. Let's go look at the little unit inside. <laughs> you happy about it? Okay. All right, so here it is. It's all set. Uh, we got the whirly gig upstairs, obviously upstairs, <laughs> on the ceiling, on the ceiling, on the roof. We got it somewhere. <laughs> and if you look at this little guy, gonna try and get in here. It actually does this 14 day learning thing. So it says it's learning to kind of learn the weather. Uh, and it's already doing the wind speed and got the indoor and outdoor temperatures. And that's pretty cool. We like it. This way in the morning we get up, we look at it and we're like, oh, it's cold outside. Cause we wouldn't have known it without this thing. Put on a jacket. Put on a jacket. How often is it that it's the same temperature inside and outside? That's kind of rare, isn't it? Uh, I would imagine. I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe it's broken, doesn't work. Oh, Although no. the humidity is different. Yeah. Okay. So we'll there we go. Know. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> we'll have links to all this stuff, obviously, uh, in the description below. And if you like it, like the video. If you don't like it, uh, don't not like the video. Just go somewhere else and watch a different video. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>